Now, well, there has been a lot of discussion about this, this technology in the past uh, 10, 15 years. There are a number of activist groups that oppose the technology. They have no good, solid uh, uh, technical reasons why to oppose the technology, so they mix arguments and they don't say completely the truth. And this has uh, made the, the biosafety regulations very strict in many countries. For instance, in Mexico, to do a field trial, you have to comply with about 85 biosafety measures that make the, the test very expensive. So it's been calculated that to get the commercial approval for a new GM uh, product, you need to spend between 100 and 150 million dollars. So we have some technologies which are extremely promising for agriculture that could help us reduce the use of fertilizers and the use of herbicides, which would have a, 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 not only an economical benefit to the farmers, but also a great uh, beneficial impact on, on the environment. However, it's very difficult or impossible for us to get to the commercial level because there is no public institution, not only in Mexico, but nowhere in the world that can afford a technology that costed one or two million dollars to develop, then to spend 100 or 150 million just to go through the regulatory processes. So this uh, difficult situation was generated by the activists who oppose the technology because they don't like multinational companies. But at the end, what they have done is that they have made sure that only the multinational companies can go through the regulatory process. So that the only thing that happens is that the technology we, we develop to really get it into the market, we will have to make uh, alliances with these, the very same multinational companies that these people is opposing. So the, what they, I recommend these activists is that they help us to build up national programs so that we can develop our own technology, keep regulations, but facilitate the regulation, regulatory process so that small local companies can get products into the market so that we can develop our own technology that is useful for our own farmers and we help the, the local economy. And that way we decrease the, the advantage that the multinational companies have to monopolize the use of the technology.